Seth Money right. Brown, Mary right. Smith Jr. That boy Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> yeah. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? Well, it's your boy Money back with another one. And this one here is on the top dogs at the welterweight division. We got Showtime Sean Porter, the former two time welterweight world champion. Then we got Turns T Bud Crawford, the three division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, and the current WBO welterweight world champion. Their fight was signed and sealed and delivered for November the 20th. And Sean Porter want to let Turns Bud Crawford know that you got a problem on your hands. You have a real problem on your hands. And your fans, and you, and your coach, and everybody that's working with you, we'll find out real soon. We'll find out real soon. Now, Showtime Sean Porter faced some of everybody. Not some of everybody, he faced everybody. He faced everybody. Earl Spence, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, your Dennis Ugas. Now ain't about to take on Terrence Bud Crawford. He faced Adrian Browner, Andre Berto, Paula Malinaji. He took on, if you were somebody, Sean Porter fought you. And he gave your ass a run for your money. Now, he's letting Terrence Bud Crawford know, yeah, I'm in your ass, boy. I'm in your ass, boy. You understand? And Porter told him, you better have your mind made up. You better know if you want to fight South Park Orthodox. Because I'm not going to give your ass no time to think. I'm not going to give you no time to switch up nothing. So to all your cronies, to all your flunky fans that think you're going to knock me out, you have, to, you have to prove that. You have to prove that. Now, turns t Bud Crawford, we all know one hell of a fighter, man. Like I said, three divisions undisputed. Now the current WBO welterweight champion at the welterweight division. Got, what, four title defenses on his belt after beating John, um, Jeff Horn for the title? American, Main Machine. Benavidez and Kel Brook, so he got four title defenses under his belt, which is a fucking, you know, that's 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 accomplishing. That's an accomplishment. I get that to him. But you know, Bud been getting slack for the opponents at 147 at the welterweight division. He's been getting slack for us, his his choice of opponents that Bob Byrne was picking for him because he haven't forced his promoter to put the the big dogs in the ring and pay them. Now, the narrative is turns Bud Crawford has Sean Porter. Sean Porter got his biggest payday. And now that Sean Porter's in the ring with Bud, Bud is going to knock him out. And this is going to, you know, stop the Cold War between PBC and um, Top Rank. What I'm here to tell y'all, bro, it was never a Cold War between PBC and Top Rank. Bob Erm never wanted to pay anybody. Cats are throwing out these fantasy numbers that, that, that never happened. It never happened. We seen Bob Erm try to get Sean Porter a million dollars. We seen him try to get Danny less than American. We seen him try to get Keith Thurman a low ball price. And all these guys told him, come with more money and we'll fight. We will fight. You know what I mean? Now, Sean Porter and Turnsboy Crawford was mandated. It was mandated. So that means a purse bid would have came anyway. And the person who would have won the purse bid, Trilla, The Zone, PBC, Top Rank. Whomever would have bid on this fight, you know, whatever they won, they would have had to split that between Porter and Bud. But nonetheless, quit making this if PBC boys never wanted to fight Turns Bud Crawford and if the PBC boys was afraid of this man right here. Because that's not the story. That's not the narrative, bro. Y'all need to cut that shit out. Turns Bud Crawford is with top rank. He's with top rank. PBC has the welterweights. Yes, Bud wanted to fight him. Did Bud deserve to fight with the welterweights? Yes, Bud did deserve to fight with the welterweights. The thing is this. Terrence Bud Crawford is a WBO welterweight world champion. He had a contract with ESPN. You think ESPN is just going to let him come on over to PBC and Fox and let him fight without them getting nothing? And he under their fucking banner? Cut it out, man. Cut it out. You feel me? Terrence Bud Crawford was the champion. He had an opportunity to make Bob Earn pay a non-champion over on the PBC side to come over there like they just did with Showtime Sean Porter. And Porter got more than what, what they tried to give him at first because they tried to give him a million and then they came with two million and now it seems that he's getting four million and he probably getting some of the pay-per-view revenue as well. You understand what I'm saying? It's called good fucking business. 
For all you cats out there that's talking about, oh, well, he getting his biggest payday with Boogie Man, boy. Oh, he's getting his biggest payday with Bud Crawford, oh, this and that. Sean Porter not trying to hear that shit. Sean Porter understand his work. And Sean Porter made a grip load of fucking money with Earl the True Spence Jr. Y'all just looking at his two point uh, million up front. Look at the back end money after the pay-per-view. Look at the back end money after the pay-per-view. That's how you round up somebody's fucking total purse, homie. Y'all don't just look at what he get paid up front. Oh, he got two he got two million up front. That wasn't the end game. That wasn't the end game. He got two million up front and he got forty percent of the pay-per-view. 40% of the pay-per-view. You understand? That was sold for $75 a pop, and I think him and Earl did 300 plus. Yeah, you do the math. You feel me? So when I'm looking at the situation, y'all, Showtime Sean Porter getting into the ring with Terrence Bill Crawford, about fucking time. About fucking time. And I'm not going to blame, blame the PBC side. I'm not going to blame Terrence Crawford, but some of the blame is on Terrence Crawford. Because Terrence Crawford never forced Bob Arm hand. He never forced Bob Arm hand. Only when it came to Earl Spence did he say he put a million dollar clause in the contract if he can't make the fight happen with Earl Spence. How the fuck can you put a million dollar clause in the contract for an Earl Spence fight? And Earl Spence don't got nothing to do with top rank. Earl Spence has nothing to do with top rank. And Bob Arm do not control Earl Spence's career. That's Al Heyman and Earl Spence's decision. You understand? But when Manny Pacquiao was over there on top rank, you didn't put no fucking contract clause on the top rank. I mean, on the top rank for Manny Pacquiao. And that was your biggest fight. Your biggest fight. So I look at it like this. So all you clown cats out there that's running around talking about, oh, man, you know, Bud made this fight happen. And da 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 this and da 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 that. No, man, the WBO made this fight happen. The WBO made this fight happen. Sean Porter Ben want to fight Bud. Right? He been want to fight Bud. Sean Porter called out Bud right there on national television, calling him out on, on, on interviews, all over YouTube calling him out. And what Bud say, now you testing my patience. Stand to the side. If I don't make this fight with Manny Pacquiao, then you'll be next. You know what I mean? And then he didn't press the issue for this fight to be made. He did not press the issue, bro. The, the, when they mandated and it was going to a purse bid, Top ranking PBC didn't want this fight to fall to the wayside to fucking Trilla and the Zone. To Trilla and the Zone. Because they would have looked like some damn fools. Letting their fighters, championship fighters, former champions, top welterweights fight on another fucking platform. And they not getting a damn off of it. You understand that? So now I see this situation, bro. Cats need to speak the real and the truth. This is going to be one hell of a fight. Showtime Sean Porter versus um, Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford versus Showtime Sean Porter. I got Bud winning the fight. I don't got him knocking him out. You know, Terrence Bud fanatics are going fucking crazy out here. Losing their goddamn mind. You know what I mean? Trying to discredit Sean Porter for what he's done in this boxing game. Can't discredit that man's resume. His resume is better than Bud's resume. And that's a fact. His resume is better than Bud's resume. And that's a fact. Win, lose, or draw. Win, lose, or draw. He lost to Keith Thurman. He lost to Earl. He lost to Kell Brook. The Keith Thurman and the Kell Brook fight, it was close. It was close. I had Earl 8-4, but Sean Porter made that bitch a dog fight, just like with Earl Spence. So quit trying to look at Sean Porter and say he ain't nothing. This cat says Sean Porter ain't shit. Y'all are fool-ass fools to sit up there and say a welterweight who fought every motherfucker, who gave everybody a run for their money, to say he ain't shit. A two-time welterweight world champion ain't shit. Y'all boys are crazy out there, man. Y'all boys are crazy. People love to discredit, bro. People love to discredit. And that's pathetic to me. Pretty pathetic. Because Showtime Sean Porter beat everybody on Terrence Bud Crawford resume. And I know he lost to Kell Brook. But if he fought the Kell Brook that Terrence Bud Crawford fought, Sean Porter would have beat him. If Sean Porter fought the Kell Brook that Terrence Bud Crawford fought, Sean Porter would have beat him. And the fight that he fought on was close. That he lost. So y'all better quit playing with Sean Porter like he's just a nobody, bro. Like Bud for the just walk through him. It ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Bud as is in a real fight with Showtime Sean Porter. About fucking time. You feel me? About fucking time. And it, I don't even think you pressed to make this fight happen with your promoter. I just think the 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 fucking integrity. I don't even say the integrity. It's just something in Bob Arm to know. 
he was gonna look like a fucking fool to see Terrence Boyd Crawford, his WBO welterweight world champion, fighting on Triller or fucking um the Zone or maybe even PBC. It is. So now the fight is fit happen on ESPN pay per view. ESPN pay per view. You understand? Where it should have been. Because they got the fucking belt, so they got to make the offer. They got the belt, so they got to make the offer. Period, man. Period. Cash trying to blow this shit out of proportion to make it more than what it really is. It's not that big, bro. Now Bud finally got a PBC fighter. Now y'all can see that PBC fighters ain't afraid of no goddamn Bud. Don't say how long it took for them to fight him, because look how long it took for EJ to get a Sean Porter and a Danny Garcia. That's just the nature of the beast. Period. And Bob Bram is the king of in-house fights. So don't give me that in-house fights bullshit. Of course, every promoter going to make the fight happen if they got two fighters in the same division and it's a top dog fucking fight, bro. Earl Spence, Sean Porter, top dog. Sean Porter, Denny Garcia, top dog. Um, Keith Thurman, Danny. Keith Thurman, Sean, top dog shit. Ugin, Sean, top dog shit. Ugin Spence, top dog shit. Like them top dog fights, bro. You can't get pissed off at it. Can't get mad because Al Hamid got all the welterweights on the side of the street. You feel me? But now, Bud got one. Let's see how Bud handle them. Let's see how Bud handle them. Like I said, I got him winning on the course. Not by knockout. Sean Porter will make this a tough fight. Sean Porter will be in the inside and standing Bud shit. And Bud haven't shown me that he got an inside game where he can just bang it out in the inside like that. You know what I mean? Turns Bud Crawford said out his own mouth in one press conference that Sean Porter's style is a, it's a hectic fucking style. They're they, they, they not trying to see that style. Bo Mack as well. So now it's her. Now it's her. It's going to be one hell of a fight. No, um, November 20th, bro. We all going to enjoy it. Can't wait for it. The same month as Canelo fight Caleb Plant. So that's a double, um, you know, a double big time fight in the same month. Got to come out a couple extra dollars, but it is what it is. Good luck, Terrence Bud Crawford. Good luck, Showtime Sean Porter. Give us a classic. That's all I ask for. Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC Moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. Y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.